Alright, I think we've waited about long enough. Okay, just gonna make sure that everybody can see this this time. Yes. Alright, welcome back to another stream, everybody. Uh, another Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Uh, Arctic Thwack here. Sorry about last time. I did not realize that I left the uh, stream starting soon screen up. Like, the first half of the stream. But I put it on a different scene entirely now in OBS, so... That should hopefully never happen again. You know, you live and you learn kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do in the first part of the stream is uh, more or less redo everything that people couldn't see last time. Which uh, shouldn't take as long since I know where to go now. Uh, luckily nothing major happened. So... Definitely going to get to a lot of new stuff probably in the last like two hours or so of the stream. But uh, yeah, probably like this first hour or so. Going to be uh, basically what I did was I went here, I went through the graveyard, uh, did everything up to like the place with all the clouds and stuff, just solved the puzzle, and went inside the building there that we've briefly visited in a previous stream and that's about the time I realized that uh, things were not as they were supposed to be so I stopped and played uh, Kirby Superstar instead so uh, fortunately nothing big nothing too big happened uh, but yeah let's get back into it and uh, Get back to where we were. Just gonna make sure everything is still good. Okay, we got the game audio on, we got the microphone on, and everybody can see everything. Yes. Okay. On with the show. So I think uh, we just put the element here. Uh... Right, then we need to get it back out of here again. Yeah, I was mainly talking a lot about that direct that came out that same day. But... I think I hit all the same points uh, when I was playing Kirby Superstar instead afterwards. Still in disbelief that we're getting a portal on the Switch. Hey. A little bit of a shortcut here. Hey. Yeah, fortunately since it's been two days, uh... Probably forgot the details of like uh, everything that happened, so it'll be like I'm doing this for the first time. Uh, but yeah, let's just continue on to the west here. Um, I'm trying to remember what else we did that was like important. We can still swim. Um. Probably a lot of, like, random kinstone pieces and stuff. Um, I think there's some chests up here, actually, that we wanted to get. Oh. Yeah. About the full, full rupee bag. Maybe we go to Castletown. Maybe that's what we do. Because I'm pretty sure we did stuff there. Uh... 
so let's just head back there really quick, make sure all of our uh, business in Hyrule Town is taken care of. Did I stay in the hotel? I think maybe I did that in, in my fifth stream. Yeah, no, I think we did everything, actually. Be before Wednesday. He's going fast. But yeah, I guess I should probably mention... I I'm really heavily considering changing my streaming schedule. Because I think this is just really just too late for a lot of people. Like, I'm thinking about maybe going back, like, maybe starting two hours earlier or so. Like, maybe I'll give, uh, more people a chance to join if they wanted to. Because I know it's, it's like, you know, Starting at 11 Eastern, ending at 2 in the morning, like... I don't know. I tend to be a bit of a night owl, so it doesn't seem like an issue to me, but I can I can see how for some people who have, like, work the next day or something, it, it could be a problem. They're like, school. Man, I, I hated that when I was in, like, college, and you'd always have those classes that are only available in, like, the morning. Like, there was one class I had that only was available at, like, 7 in the morning. It was the absolute worst. Am I gonna open this? It's gonna be rupees. They're gonna be wasted instantly. Ah, it's a kinstone piece. I was like, 50-50, it's rupees or a kinstone piece. We got lucky there. I think we did get a heart piece at some point, because I, I remember having, uh, 11 hearts. I'm sure we'll stumble back up, back across it again. Eventually. But, yeah, let's just, uh, keep going back over- oh. I keep forgetting that the, uh, mole mints allow you to do that. So yeah, I think what we want to do is not go this way. This is too far west. Okay, yeah, we have three out of four heart pieces, so I, I'm pretty sure it was just like one heart piece I was missing. There are a lot of shells too. Okay, let's let's come up with a plan here. I think we have to go into the next area from the south. Like, I'm pretty sure we need to use the, uh... Rod of Flippening to, uh... Climb up the mountain. So let's go find that again really quick. Over here, maybe? Yeah, probably this. Wait. Oh no, I think we have to swim across. Right? Because we can, like, jump in the water here now. Or something like that. Oh. That might be the heart piece that I was missing. Actually, I'm pretty sure that pretty much has to be. Yeah, then you need to have three in order to pass here.
Yeah, I'd, I'd be interested, I think, eventually, of uh, doing like a randomizer for this game, maybe. It seems like a pretty good one to, to uh, do a randomizer for. There's 200 of those shells back. Back into the spooky zone. Is it weird I kind of like places like this in games? Very atmospheric. Haunter uses Constrict. It's super effective. Wait, what was south from here? I don't think I went this way before. Um, yeah, that just goes back that way. I think that's just an easy return route. Oh, yeah, we probably want to use our lantern here. Surprise. Ghost in the shadows. Wait, we can go this way. Don't do it. I didn't sign up for Luigi's Mansion. I mean, Link is green like Luigi. So, I mean... Basically, Luigi's Mansion. Give me a sign. Oh yeah, I remember this. I totally lucked out on the last uh, sign. But I went right here like an idiot. Uh, same as before. This isn't randomized every time, is it? Same as the beginning. Right. Same as two before. So up. Congratulations, you solved the puzzle. Sleep? Can ghosts sleep? Rest in pieces. This is where we need a key for. Let's go talk to Dompe again. Yeah, I'm sure this game is a lot faster if you know where you're, like, you actually know where you're supposed to go. Yeah, it took me a couple seconds to figure out the first time. Then he takes the key back. Like, why did he ever give us the key if he was the one who was going to open it? Ghost warning us that there's ghosts here.
Would a ghost be able to see their reflection in the mirror, or is that just vampires that can't? Is it's like, oh, show him a mirror, so he knows that he's what he's talking about. But I'm like, what if he can't? I think he has a second kinstone piece. I guess not yet? Uh, insert joke about uh, M. Night Shyamalan joke that links the ghost actually the whole time and that's why I can go through tombstones. Okay, we need to move that. So we can go through here, thread the needle. Why do swords even work on ghosts? When, shouldn't they just go through? Were there any other ones that had secrets in them? I don't... I don't think so. Right, so we just kind of uh, thread the needle here. these guys. Damage sponge enemies. Just because. And this is the right one. Yeah, I think this is one of the uh, situations where we want the clones to be on the same side. Oh, don't do it. Darn it. A little too slow with that one. Wait, what? Stream is disconnected, attempting to reconnect. Are you kidding me? Why, though? Attempt harder. Okay, did it reconnect? I have no idea why that keeps happening. I just kind of let it try and reconnect this time. I mean, it did this once before, uh, when we were in the ice dungeon. Or I think slightly before the ice dungeon. But I think it reconnected now. I think there's something off with either Twitch servers or my ISP, one of the two. But yeah, I think I think we're back again. Is it like a bitrate issue? I don't know. Oh, don't do it. Okay, it should just slide through right there. 
Oh, I ran out of time right at the last minute. Focusing. Okay. So that's the first key. We just need to grab the other one over here really quick. That's uh, not the exit we wanted. But yeah, I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to get back to where we were. Oh, forgot about the snakes. Fire puzzle. That is some ungrateful fire. We just lit it and it automatically starts shooting at us. We actually don't need any of these rupees, we're full up on those. The one time Link leaves uh, jars undestroyed. Right, and then he gives us the kinstone piece for the waterfall. Just like speed running the stuff we did in the first half of Wednesday. we're probably going to make a lot more progress this time. Okay, that just empties out here. Right. So, from here we want to go... this away. Yeah, I'm seriously thinking about starting, like, streaming earlier. I just... Don't think this is a... Oh, I, I can't believe I haven't tried that yet. You can just, like, burn the bushes and they... It's like a chain reaction. That doesn't work on trees, does it? Oh, he was hiding there this whole time. Not anymore. I think we should be able to swim over there now. And there's the choo-choos with the helmets. given a chance to do everything over again, 
but do it faster this time. Yeah, what else would it have meant? Like, going to the source of the flow? Like... Slow hat. Okay, and then here's the curse guy. He can stay over there. That's not a very effective helmet. Wait, can I use the torches on these guys? They're like plant-based. Down here, why don't you? Nope, that doesn't work. Very worth the shot, though. Uh, arrows? Easily most annoying enemy in this game. Kind of interesting I'm like not using hardly any arrows at all. Come back down here. That didn't work. I'm gonna ignore him. Right, and then we get another fast travel point here. Did I go in the cave before? Oh. Keep... Still keep hitting the right shoulder button thing and that's gonna pull a shield out. Oh, that just doesn't work on him. It's so entertaining to me that you can, like, vacuum the keys up with the gust jar. I gotta keep in mind that fairies only heal, like, four hearts in this game. Not as uh, forgiving as some other Zelda games. Oh, I need to stop collecting those. Where do I spend money at? I have too much money. It doesn't make any difference if I get more. It's a real problem. Alright, I think this loops back to the uh, first room. Why did I do that? Bye bye, a hundred rupees. I barely knew ya.
So this goes back to like the starting part. There's the giant Goron in the distance. Still not sure what to do with him. And I think this goes right back to the cloud area. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. There's this guy who still looks like a... Let's find it. What are we finding? Yeah, I was thinking his hat kind of looks like a... Oh, what's the Pokemon like? Tentacool? Tentacruel? Like, I'm gonna be surfing on the water and this thing's gonna fly up at, at me. making great time today. There's the golden tech type. Yeah, if you weren't here last time, I uh, I forgot to get rid of my uh, stream starting soon screen until like halfway through my stream on Wednesday. So I'm basically trying to redo everything that uh, no one could see. Yeah, it's a good thing I, I always save, like, uh, like, I do, like, a save state before every stream, so I was able to, like, do a little bit of a rewind time, everybody. Yeah, unfortunately nothing, like, crazy, like, story-wise happened. I just got to, uh, the part where there's like that large building in this area that that we briefly visited before from like a teleport. But that's about the time I realized uh, something was wrong. But it's great though because it, it took me like an hour and a half to get here, or to get there on Wednesday. And it's only been like, you know, half an hour now. And we're back to pretty much the same place. So we're actually going to make a lot more progress today than we were on Wednesday. Because I know where to go. We've officially reached the part where we have to dig around the clouds. switch those around actually. Yeah, we just gotta get these uh, golden kinstone pieces. There's like five of them in this area. This whole area is just like set up like a massive like ring. Kind of interesting though, because I guess that means this stream we're gonna figure out how to how to uh, deal with the cursed guy in the in the house. Yeah, he can sure tear through these clouds like it's no one's business.
Oh yeah, I know. It's like really physically demanding uh, snow. Yeah, if uh, anyone is uh, watching this that has to shovel snow, uh, make sure to take a break every uh, once in a while. Because, I mean, it's just solid water, and water is actually a lot heavier than you would initially guess. go this way, I think. Just gonna go counterclockwise around this whole area. Yeah, no, back when I lived in Missouri, I, uh, I used to have to shovel snow. Quite the workout. Strong. And there's this guy with the world's slowest electric projectile. That's kind of cool though, because that means that this is the last section of the map that we didn't have. Did I get another Ken Stone piece? I did. And it is the correct one. Yeah, we just gotta get all these windmills spinning and then we can go to the next area. Yeah, this game shares a lot of stuff from different Zelda games. Like some of the character designs are the same from Wind Waker. Uh, I think there's some Link to the Past stuff in here. Um, it's weird, this this game is just like a... like a mashup of like a bunch of other Zelda games. It seems like it's most closely related to Four Swords. I mean, you literally get the Four Sword in this game. And, like, body is, like, the main bad guy. I'm not entirely sure where it actually fits in the Zelda timeline. Um, okay. I think we go down here now. Did not mean to go right back into that again. He keeps knocking me back into the red tornado. Tornado. He's just like, nope, not dealing with you. Back in the vortex you go. Yeah, these guys kind of look like the water bombs from uh, Twilight Princess. I think we just gotta use the spin attack on him. Before Ocarina of Time. I thought, uh, Skyward Sword was the only one before Ocarina of Time. I think those are the only ones we know for sure, because, like, before Skyward Sword came out, it was like, the Zelda timeline was just a fan theory. But then, in Nintendo's presentation, I think it was at E3. Oh, he just jumped right off the cloud. Uh, yeah, they basically said, okay, Ocarina of Time came first before, but now Skyward Sword actually comes before that. So 
so those are like the only two that we know for sure. Well, other than, uh... Obviously, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and then Minish Tracks. No, no, Minish Tracks. Uh, Spirit Tracks. Those three are, like, together as, like, a, like a three-part series. Because the Link in Phantom Hourglass is the same as the Wind Waker Link. And then the Spirit Tracks Link is his grandson, basically. But it's weird because it's like the uh, Wind Waker Link is not actually related to any of the other Links. And then you've got all that all that stuff with like different timelines, like where there's like the Wind Waker timeline, which is like the one where Link didn't come back uh, after Ocarina of Time. Basically, you start getting into time travel, and as typical of time travel, things get complicated. But it's like the, the, the timeline where he did come back is the one that leads into Twilight Princess, which I'm pretty sure that's like either the son... I think, I think he's the son of the Ocarina of Time Link. Oh, I think we actually have to defeat all the enemies here to get this cloud to, uh, disappear. After Skyward Sword, it's Minish Cap. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, like... And I've played, like, at least most of the uh, 3D Zelda games. So, and like a few of the two-dimensional Zelda games. And still, like, I feel like I'm missing a lot of pieces. But, I mean, it's, it's an important game series for me because it was Wind Waker that really got me into video games in the first place. Like, I'd played a couple video games before that, but it was just like, you know. I didn't really identify that as, like, a hobby of mine until after, like, Wind Waker. Ah, cool, yeah. You should hold on to those. You should see if you have, like, the version of Ocarina of Time, like, like, the first version. Like, they actually changed the Fire Temple music, uh, after, like, the first batch of Ocarina of Time cartridges. Those are, like, particularly valuable. You can actually tell by the serial numbers on the cartridge. There's something in here. Yeah, I never actually had like a Nintendo 64 growing up. We couldn't uh, afford one at the time. So I actually first played Ocarina of Time on the uh, virtual console on the Wii. Oh, they changed Ganon's blood to green? I didn't realize that. means Ganon's canonically an alien.
Uh, did I... I think I... Go this way. this way before? Oh. I was not here before. Okay, I think that's one of the kinstone pieces in here. You can swim in clouds, but you can't swim in the midair. That's a terrifying idea. If like sharks could like swim in air. did that one. Temple Song, Shadow Temple. Oh, yeah, they made it. Uh... Yeah, I think those are the main changes they made. be looping back here for no reason. Is there something hidden here? Yeah, that's kind of crazy though if you think about it like lore-wise. It was actually the royal family who uh, basically had the uh, shadow temple as like a torture chamber. Yeah, they changed the mirror shield image. Honestly, I don't know, like, what they were thinking, like, the first time. I guess no one, like, screened that first to see if those symbols had any uh, other meanings first. It's more detailed, it it's, looks more interesting. It's not like, you know, any uh, religions in the real world are canonical within the Zelda universe or anything. So, I mean, it's a non-issue to me, but I can see how they would want to change it. 
just in case. Yeah, seriously. I don't know, I'm like, is he like, frozen whenever he's in the Sacred Realm for like seven years? Just like, cryogenically frozen in there, or? Just instantly like, teleports him to the future? True, so it couldn't be like frozen, frozen. I guess we could go always go with the classic. Uh, it's magic; they don't need to explain anything. But still, it's just like I can't help but wonder, like, what what would it be like to be from Link, Link's perspective? I used to think about that quite a bit, like, what if I was in Link's shoes, and I had to deal with the stuff that he had to deal with? Like, how far would I be able to make it into... Uh, Wind Waker was when I was thinking about it. I'm like, okay. Getting on the pirate ship, that's fine. I think the part where I'd, uh, I'd start to uh, have issues is the part where you, you have to get launched out of a catapult. Whenever they like fling you into the Forsaken Fortress. be able to reach that uh, vortex there, but apparently not. Yeah, he, he needs some milk. Like the one Zelda game where you, where you you don't actually get milk. You get red Jello. Oh yeah, you get the soup. The soup is uh better than milk. Makes you extra strong. Gotta head south here, and that's where the last kinstone piece goes. Yeah, you even get like two servings of it. It makes the Savage Labyrinth so much easier to have that. I think there's like a glitch that people use with speedrunning where they get infinite soup. They somehow like duplicate like the soup. Okay, I think I went too far south. Ah, uh, but there's no way back, so I have to loop all the way back around again. Uh, 
I really like it when games do stuff like that. The uh, Savage Labyrinth in Wind Waker. Where you have like... Here's 100 floors with progressively harder enemies. Uh, good luck. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door did that as well with the Pit of Honor Trials. The sort of like enemy like gauntlets, I guess. It's a good way to add like like a like a good spike of difficulty too there. This is like oh you have to endure. Like be, be careful with your item use and everything. It it does, honestly. I've heard some people say that this indie game, uh I think it's called like Bug Fables, is uh like spiritually very similar to uh Thousand Year Door. I've heavily considered playing that on stream. I really wish that Nintendo would just make uh, another uh, another thousand year door. It's just one of those things, though, where it's like... If they don't make the Thousand Year Door that we want, someone's gonna make an indie game that that gives us what, what we want instead. Oh yeah, I imagine they're pretty, uh... valuable now. Nintendo is, like, making it really hard to get a hold of those. I was really surprised that they put the original Paper Mario uh, on like the Switch, like Nintendo Online thing. But of course, they they paywalled it into their uh, more expensive plan, which I, I still can't recommend getting. How how do I go back? I don't think this is the right way. Actually, wouldn't it be faster if I, uh, warp out of this area and re-enter? Yeah, then we can just go, like, go back here, and then go back up. And then I don't have to worry about working my way around the clouds. Yeah, I think it's because they just won't allow partners anymore. Oh, if you and three friends play pay the family pack one? Yeah, I guess that would make sense if you like split it up like amongst a few people. And it looks like they're adding more stuff to it. Like, they just added, like, the uh, DLC pack for the uh, new uh, Mario Kart 8 DLC. Okay. This is fantastic, too, because uh, now we're back exactly where we were when I realized uh, no one could see my stream. So, we've effectively made all of our progress back in, like, an hour. Yeah, Earthbound. I, it's, that's one of those games that I keep thinking I should, I should play. I know a lot of people are disappointed with, uh... 
disappointed that they didn't announce Earthbound 2 and 3. Because it's like, oh, they were they were really delaying. Uh, like, they were really slow with talking about Earthbound on that direct on the 9th. So people were thinking they were going to get 2 and 3, but then we ended up not getting 2 and 3. <laughs> Open the waterfall. Stop having it be closed. So th these are the people of the Wind Tribe. Someone call Aang. We found where his family went. on the same wavelength. Why did I just use the... I really need to, to not... Okay, good. That doesn't work inside. It's just like... Whoops, accidentally warped. Just get rid of the ocarina for now. So, like... At what point do these people become like the chickens in Twilight Princess? So I know the, the Kokiri become the Koroks. At least in like the Wind Waker timeline. Which I guess gets like recombined with the other timeline for Breath of the Wild. But if this is suppo supposed to be the city in the sky, where are all the weird creepy chicken people at? There's a lot of secret stuff in that area. Oh, golden snake. Do I dare open these with full rupees? I'm gonna go for it. Okay, kinstone piece? Please all be kinstone pieces. That's two out of three. Yes. I was so worried that it was going to be like, here's like a golden rupee that's worth like a thousand rupees. When I'm like, full. I hope they do, they do that thing. I think it was Breath of the Wild that did this. Where like, if you get rupees, but you're like full up on rupees, you put it back in the chest again. They know a small boy collects elements. That we do. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't mind if future Zelda games, like, at least had the overworld be, like, an open world type area. 
I miss traditional, like, Zelda dungeons in Breath of the Wild. That's probably one of my biggest criticisms of that game. But if they just if they just decided to do open worlds, uh, overworlds from now on, I'd be I'd be happy with that. Palace of Winds. Why does that sound familiar? Did you hear that? They said we we're special. Kinstone piece and kinstone piece. Nice. There's a device in the palace that allows one to fly in the sky. Rock's feather, perhaps? I mean, we can already use our hat as like a glider, so. Out of the way, Tentacool. We're in the parrot dimension. Oh, it's above here. Palace of Winds. Don't look down. I think if you look down from here, you probably wouldn't even be able to see the ground. The P, the P hats blue. Oh no. It's Sans and his brother Sans. Okay, it looks like you have a little bit of a window before the uh, floor crumbles if you step on these. Why did I just push that off? Uh, because I felt like it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Should be a little bit more careful with those. Especially from this height, it's like we're practically in space. So that's gonna basically look like a meteor <laughs> from this height. Wait, I think I need to move this bridge before I can cross. Oh. Yeah, hitting that would have been easier. Yeah, make a wish. Is 
There's a couple of skeletons to join the block. I just had to. <laughs> what on earth are those? That looks like one of those demons from Doom. But like in sprite format. Yeah, floating Darth Maul heads. Um, oh no. Oh, I see how this is. There was exactly one block I should not have been standing on. And that was the one I was standing on. I hope he packed a parachute. <laughs> he fell for it. Oh, he really fell for it. Wait, when did this become a Mario stage? We got bob bombs and we got the little gate things that you flip. How? Oh. Wait, why were the explodey guys here then? Hey. I'm assuming some of these blocks we need to push down because there's probably secrets we couldn't get to. They weren't Suddenly there in the overworld somewhere. Then again, I don't think this is actually above there, so... Yeah, actually, do we ever even find out what's below this area? Uh, did you... Did you try to type a web address? Yeah, automod automatically blocks, like, links. Not link, but, but links. Oh, nice. I don't think... Anyone's ever clipped something on my stream before? How do I get over there? Not like that. Oh, really? I needed to actually check on that.
That's weird. I would have assumed that it would have given me like a notification or something, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah, it's like damage boosting in Mario 64, like Lethal Lava Land, whenever they like intentionally jump in the lava to, to go fast. How do I flip this? Oh. Let me guess, the item that... Wait. Oh, yeah, right, because there's going to be an item here, and it's probably going to be Rock's Feather, if I had to guess. Because I know that that's in Four Swords, because I've, I've played Four Swords before. So we probably need to come back for that. After that skeleton fall fell, do you think he had a few bones to pick with me? Oh, that's awful. I think we're backtracking. So we haven't seen anything from the second through fifth floors. What? Flipped his lid. And I flipped his lid. Okay, so if we are gonna get like Rock's Feather or something, we we'll probably jump across here. Wait, do these slide like this way? So our hat pointed out these clouds. Go south here. like boomerang check like if, if we have the good boomerang because I think we can like wait can I hold the boomerang in one spot no Oh, I think I use a bomb here to do timing. Yep, that was it. I kept thinking of, like boomerang or arrows or something. Nope. Oh, mini boss. Whiz robes. There's four of them. Oh. I 
should have known. I have to be careful because fairies only do like four hearts of healing in this game. Cape. We don't just get a feather, we get a full on cape. Okay. So we can actually kind of control our direction a little bit. Oh, and that takes us back to here. Okay. Yeah, this is starting to make a lot more sense. So these clouds are just like a cape check. Self, you cannot float very gracefully sideways. It's like trying to jump over the bird. What am I doing? I swear I'm not a games journalist. get a little bit of uh, forward momentum before you jump, or else you're not going to jump very far. Okay, I can already tell that that, that top block we're supposed to push off into the abyss. So like that. What are these four. Oh, yeah, that that is a uh, cracked floor there. Oh, these are switches. So what, I need to set like a bomb for timing for one of them, and then hit the other three at the same time? Or I could do this. Oh no, it's the blue shells from Mario Kart. They're back for revenge.
I know, right? Never has there ever been a uh, more malicious shelled animal. Okay, this is a float across section, probably. They made the uh, wind visible here. That was close. We need to need to use this here. Oh, so now I should be able to use this thing. What do you bet? It's a rupee like like. Didn't have me fooled for a second. Wait, can I just jump across here? No? This also means I could probably go back to get that chest on the first floor. It's probably a compass map. Or dungeon map, dungeon compass, one of those. Eventually we'll probably get like one of those blue or red teleporter things. So I'll probably wait till then. Because it'll probably take us back to the first floor. I'm assuming this is here for a reason. So rather than going across and be like, man, I should have, uh, I should have done this before I went over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Ooh. Looks like I'll be doing it anyway. Oh, I should probably wait until it, till the block actually gets here, so I have the, the maximum amount of time. I wonder what the boss is going to be here. Wait, none of these push. Almost realized too late that I was supposed to jump. 
Oh, of course it doesn't keep going. Oh, that goes back. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna go back and get some health items really quick, but the block sealed is in. Okay. But we do know what we need to do here. have to ignore the birds. This is just straight up like a Mario type level. Go to like ground pound on these. You sure I can't just jump over there? Or over there? Every video game character's ultimate weakness. Knee-high walls. That is a... small... entranceway, which means we need to become small. I do not have a key. Oh, I think I had the right idea. The, the right idea. Expert gopher strategies. Okay. Couldn't I just... This probably isn't the uh, intended strategy, but... Couldn't I just do that? Oh, you'd have to set them all at the same time. So that that does not work. Fine, I guess I'll do it the intended way. up here. Oh, that's not open yet. We have access to the shrink link oven. Did we get smaller or did our whole world just get bigger? Yeah, it kind of does look like one of those. Fortunately, unlike those, we can actually leave. Oh no. Good thing we had uh, a fairy there. That means we do not have any more fairies. Well, that must be terrifying. That, that bat must look huge now.
Wait. I'd be so confused if one day we were like, I was just like playing a Zelda game and I get a medium key. Looks like the only thing to do from here is to ascend. Yeah. Hope you brought a parachute. Oh man, really obvious joke here about, uh... Oh, you think you're gonna get me? When pigs fly... Except he's not doing much flying. Oh. Didn't see that fan there. I need to get some healing items. Okay, I can jump up this ladder, but I can't jump over this slightly, slightly raised area. Fair enough. Of course, that's there. I really need to play carefully now. Spare hearts, please. I guess we're jumping. By jumping, I mean falling before I have a chance to jump. One heart. By one heart, I mean quarter heart. No time for you, sirs. Please. Some jars or something. Oh, this doesn't go up. Just barely made it. Not messing with him. Red Ruby, go. I like, ha, huh, that was so close. I dodged that arrow. There was a second one. This might actually be a blessing in disguise, though, because this means that we're probably at the first floor, where that chest is that we missed. So there is that. And we don't actually lose any items, so... Not too bad. Yeah. 
This game's so weird with the stuff that it, like, allows us to jump over versus stuff that we can't jump over. Oh, I see. We have to push that. This game really doesn't want to give us any sort of, uh, like, hearts or anything now. that one platform that we can actually go through now. I think it was north. Yeah, here it is. So what's this going to be? Compass? Oh, it's a kinstone piece. I'm almost tempted to like leave the dungeon just so I can go get some sort of healing items. Or get more fairies or something. Wait, can I use this? Not effectively. here now. This might be something. Oh, wait, this is normal. Also, sorry if I'm getting a bit quieter. I'm like super focused mode because I realize I've got a heart and a half and no fairies, and uh, I need to play carefully, or there's going to be a lot of repeating stuff. Ah. 
Alright, there's these skulls here at least. Get some hearts from these. Wait, is it even possible to go back down again? I'm like looking for areas I can farm health. These four skulls might work. Doesn't seem like the drop rate's that high. Can I just jump up here? I guess I'm gonna trust that the game isn't gonna put us in anything that we need a lot of help for without giving us a chance to uh, heal up. Clear the skulls beforehand. That's not a good attempt. Okay, now. I guess that all of this is pretty good practice if I'm ever intending to do like a uh, randomized version of this game. Really? This dungeon is just like, how many enemies can we have that'll just push you off the side of like a cliff or something? I think we're doing a lot better this time. Of course, we already opened this, so we can just head on ahead. Is there any reason for me to fight them? Should I just continue on? How is that wind affect me all the way up there? The fan isn't that tall. Game sort of really can't make up its mind with how what things can hit you at which heights.
I need to remember that whenever the blue choo 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 choos appear, I can I can hit them before the electricity shows up. Ooh, kind of glad I can't go over those knee high walls. Don't do it. Oh, so we're exactly back to where we were. Heart piece. I I need it. Wait, I think that's the first time I've ever seen Moblins with bows before. Can I, can I go down there? Oh, I'm meant to jump across here. go back for that hard piece. Not like that. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Get me out of here. try and see if I can't get that hard piece because uh, that's a full heal. What, I think if I just go to like the second to highest one, I should be able to make it. Or we're just stuck here. Okay, we can't go back. Really? Just gonna get skeleton stun locked. Okay, I need to get more fairies and hearts. Entering here with only three is a Serious mistake. Oh. It was right here this whole time. Is there a third one? Actually, I think if I could just leave the area come back, those two will respawn. Then we'll be back to full health again. Actually, kind of appreciate the uh, increase in challenge here. appreciate them though.
It no scoped. I heard that I hit that off off screen. Wait, needs more than one. Wait, how many hits do they take? Okay, we'll probably get through it this this attempt. I'm sure this is one of those classic situations where, like, if you played the game before, this is probably easy. You'll probably get through it in, like, no time at all. I just tried to roll there. What do you bet? Like in the very next room after I get past where I keep getting stuck at? That's when you activate like a teleport or something like that? I'm gonna call it. The very next room that we enter has a tele has a teleport. I didn't actually need to do that again. very stylistically similar to uh, the city in the sky in Twilight Princess, come to think of it. I can't help but feel like these, that area and this area are related somehow. so much faster than normal. Weird.
I'm so anxious to see what the boss looks like for this. platform I kept doing that like the first try before Okay, I just needed to wait for it to go forward I don't even need to push all these. I can just go on there. Proceeds to push the last block anyway. This is the most powerful Link in the entire franchise. Because this, this Link can jump. Jump man Mario, we're coming after you. Yeah, literally no reason to fight them. Yeah, now we have those fairies back again, and our health is pretty much full. It shouldn't be an issue anymore, getting past here. I think this is the wine that we want to take. We have to move over here, though. Can I just jump over there? Wait. Oh. Right. I don't actually need to be here. Can I just jump across here? It was worth at least one attempt. Slowly but surely. Okay, back to making progress again. Okay, this is where the big key goes. So that means that door off to the side must be, uh... Where you go to get the big key. Ow! Why you gotta do this? Um, alright. Was not expecting him to be there. I swear I hit the jump button. Invulnerability frames. Small key.
so what do I do about this? Okay, that doesn't work. Um, alright. Can I just open that? Uh. I don't think we can go through here from this side. can't jump over there, for some reason. Is there a way for me to pick these up and set them back down? No, but I can push them. It's not on. Oh, surprise mobins. And blue whiz robes. Ice whiz robes. Ice of you two stop by. I just somehow peeled like a sticker off my controller. What? Oh, there's like adhesive on the back of there now. Like, why though? But doesn't even need to be a sticker there. I don't get it. We can now progress. Oh, there's the red skeletons. It's papyrus. Yeah. Oh, he spins. Oh, that's how we get back over here. Big key time? Yes. And that means there's nothing left but the boss. And no health items in sight. Except... Just gonna ignore him. Are those always money, or do they sometimes turn into hearts? So I, I could really use hearts. Looks like it's always money. That's a shame.
how big is the boss area look? We don't even have like a key or a compass. Or a, not a key, a map or a compass. It just like, slowly gave us a map. Oh wait, there's these jars here. Do these get hearts? Those do. Just want to build up a little bit of health before this boss. Because I have no clue what's in store for us, and I want to be ready. Yeah, it looks like that one on the left there always gets a heart. That's so weird how, like, different jars in this game seem to have different, like, item drop pools. Like, 100% of the time that we've gone in here, that one on the left always has a heart. The one on the right? Not once. Alright, cool. Let's see what this boss is. Oh. Naturally. Oh boy. Here we go. Dark Nut. Red Dark Nut. Uh, we probably want a shield then. Except, unlike Wind Waker, you can't parry. But you can sure fall off the sides easily. And they can just keep pushing you off the sides. Not a big fan. Can I even, like push him off the side? Am I like meant to like jump over him? It's like, the fact that there's this little bit of space is more challenging than the boss itself. Oh, I did that one all on my own. But, like, why, though? This is the cruelest thing Nintendo's ever done. In the last five minutes. But, like, what am I supposed to do? Wait for him to telegraph a specific attack. That's ridiculous range on that. That wasn't even the boss. Are you... Serious? 
I'm gonna save really quick. Because I sense some uh, crazy nonsense ahead. please. It's the dungeon that never ends. Compass. Finally. Really doing this? Can I just fly up there? Nope. I think I should just like re enter and exit the area. Some of these skulls, I think, are guaranteed heart drops. I think this is like the previous dungeon, where just because we got the big key doesn't necessarily mean that we're close to the boss fight. The dungeon that ever ends. to fall down there. But it's a good thing we did. Reminder, I have really bad sense of direction. I think this is like the only way we didn't go was down this way. That's a good way of dealing with those. 
Oh no. This goes through more than one. Okay. Get through here without destroying the floor. We have a key to go through here. Maybe this is for a map or a compass or something? I think this is a trick. We're actually meant to do every other one like that, so we can just slip into the abyss. We're, we're meant to slip into the abyss. No, so we can slip through these uh, pillars here. Flawless victory. Wait, what? Can I just jump over them? I can. Bonus key. Wait, doesn't mean we didn't need to do any of that and I could just use the key to go through here? mean to do that. This is easily like the largest dungeon in this game. How are we up here? Can I, can I reach that? I don't think I want to try because I think if we go over there we kind of have to go around in the circle like these guys are, or else we'll run right into them. Please get out of my way. Okay, where does this go? Oh, this is the other side of here. Oh, fire whiz robes. We got all the whiz robes in this game. Can I 
please just stop being on fire? No one ever told Link to stop drop and roll. Map. Finally. Of course, the uh, boss is on the top floor. Missed a chest below. Oh, so like all the places I've been up to this point have just been in like a big circle around the Palace of Winds. Actually, hold on one second. Gotta take care of something. I'll be back in like a minute or two. All right, I'm back. Make sure everything's going well, looks like it. Okay. Surprised it took us this long to find the map. I just jumped right into that, didn't I? Oh. That, that really just took us all the way back here, did it? I mean, I, I see that that portal's still there, but... Uh, huh. Yeah, I think I, I switched my sword key and my... Uh, key. What is this? Uh, like the buttons for the uh, sword and the cape. So I ended up just flying right into that. Now that said, since we're back here, I could probably go grab another couple fairies. Hmm. 
real quick. We are going to need them. If my, uh, intuition is correct about this. But yeah, since we did manage to get that teleport, we should be able to just go back there again. So at least there's that. Also, I think I just bumped my mic stand. This is a massive dungeon. take me a second to get back to where we were. Was there more up here? So I fell down, but I wasn't, I, I didn't want to fall down, and I just fell down again. I don't think there was anything else down here. Wait, was that locked door where the uh, other chest was? Yes, it was. Which means we gotta go through from the other side. Sometimes it's really hard to interpret the depth perception in this game. Wait, so I can't go back this way actually. Don't even think about it. Neither of those open that. Don't you like fall in from above? Maybe. But like over here, probably, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Surprise whiz rope attack. I think the shortcut there is probably the most valuable part. Wait. Is there a reason I want to fall here? No. Other than maybe a shortcut later on.
like to see him get through this. Fastest button masher in the West. I do not care for bullet sponge enemies, or I guess damage sponge enemies, considering uh, Link is not armed. I guess we have a bow. Definitely think I'm missing a chest back there. Oh. Guess we're stuck now. Oh, this is how I get back here. Wait, what? This is totally messing with my sense of perspective. Or not sense of perspective, but sense of like location geography where everything is. There's part of me that wants to believe that everything that's in the Palace of Winds is like way above the area we were at before. But no, we were just going around the outside but on the same levels as the interior. Okay, we already went that way. That's just for the heart piece. That leaves this. Oh, I totally messed that up. I gotta wait till he gets over there and then shoot something at him so he blows up the blocks. That makes a lot of sense. And... Got him. Okay, we have a chest, or we have a uh, key. Can I use, like, the boomerang over that? Yes, I can. Doesn't do anything for us getting over there. and I want to go through there. Oh, that was lucky with the boomerang there. Nice. Where does the red warp go? Oh, near the start of the dungeon. That means we must be really close to the end. Which is good, because this is... This dungeon's gone on for... Forever. Okay, we're like, right next to where the boss is.
Do I care about those other chests? They might have like rare kinstone pieces or something. Wait. Is this not even on the chart or on the map? skeleton popped out. Is there literally any point to this area? Don't see one. Will like come back through that way? Or... Are we supposed to explode this wall? There isn't even a crack on the wall. Defying Zelda conventions, are we? Do I want to go back for those chests? It's like we're right on top of one. How? Let me guess, that's the key that we need to get through that door. Now, because I've done this, we must go back down. That's fine. We still have the red teleport. That might have been the fastest path, actually. So basically, I need to find a way to fall into that corner. minefield. Would a shield just protect us from this? Can I not just uh, detonate explosive here? Put up shield here? Oh, because it seals off the, uh, the exit. So we do have to sneak through there. Which means not hitting those. A little bit of a minesweeper type game. Second big key door? 
I have never seen that before. Zelda dungeon with two big keys. That was not the correct move. Those skulls have parts in them? No, they have bombs. So there's a grand total of three chests left. If we fall through there, we have a key now. Turn me into a block of ice. Into the pit you go. We just needed to jump over here. See ya. Kinstone piece. And then there were two chests. Concerning. Try it. Jump into the pit. You know you want to. Ah. 
That was not the block I wanted to move. Wait. Two paths here. We'll go here first, because I think this leads to a chest. stone piece and then there was one which means that has to be wait I think you can reuse the big key I don't think we need to find another big key I think that's probably just another kinstone piece or something not try to get to it You've already shown your hand. I can do this now. Wait, how does that not do anything? I'm gonna keep going until I beat this dungeon. We're so close to the boss. Like I know typically I'd be winding things down pretty soon, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going until we beat the boss. So that's that chest. So that means these clouds just lead straight up back to the boss. So how do I get the chest that's in there? There's nothing over it. I guess we can come back if it's something significant. I have a feeling it's just going to be a kinstone piece. So I'm going to go straight for this boss if we can. I'm assuming we only need one big key. Here we go. That's the second uh, big key door. Oh, there's another vortex. They're really building this up. I have a feeling we're going to need the uh, cape here. Flying stingrays. Oh. We are not capable of flying though. Oh, we have to match the pattern. Clever. It's like a whole swarm of bosses. Wow, this is a clever boss. Ok, 
Can that other Stingray stop? Do I have to play like Energy Ball Tennis here? No. Oh, the eyes vanished. Can they all jump? Okay, new pattern. Nope, they can't all jump together. Man, that's that other stingray is making this impossible. Can I shoot him? Go away. No one likes you, other Stingray. That didn't work. Am I supposed to do it around the other Stingray? Uh... I guess so. Like, we were his fire over here. How did that do damage? Because I barely came in contact with the tail. What is it with Nintendo and Stingray bosses? Why are there two of them? This is, like, not possible now. Oh, it just, it just immediately fails. like luck. And the award for the most annoying Zelda boss is... Just have to have like a million hearts. Most annoying Zelda boss ever. Let's go grab another couple fairies. No, wrong button. Whatever. We need, we need the hearts anyway. We'll have to re-enter the area and come back. I'm not gonna stop till I beat the boss. It's uh 
reassign that button. Missed it. It's going to be so satisfying when I beat this boss eventually. Oh. Uh, okay. Really? Really? Extra careful. I couldn't tell if I was far enough down. wasn't even the right way anyway. so cool that they can just hit me like a million times like that with no invulnerability frames or anything in between. That's a cool feature. past here? Uh... No, it's here. Right. Good luck making it through here with all your preparations for the boss. Wow, 
Why can't I slow down? Okay, at least we managed to get back through that area with only taking one harder damage. Oh, and we even get that fixed here. All right. Next attempt. At the most obnoxious Zelda boss. some way I could deal with that smaller stingray. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with it when there's like two of them. This is going a lot easier the second time. Maybe I just got unlucky somehow. That's not how physics works. Actually, I think that is how physics works. It's not very intuitive, though. Just let me have it. Oh, that's not the pattern anymore. Hopefully the old Nintendo rule of three applies here. What? I totally got on the blue one. He's taunting me. Now it, the rules completely change, because before, whenever the blue one's moving around, you jump, you stay in the same relative position on the blue one. Now you jump on the blue one, the blue one moves out from underneath you. How does that make sense? And now I'm going to fall into the abyss. Because I'm expecting the rules to not change. So 
so don't jump here now. Oh. I guess we don't have to worry about that blue one anymore. No. Did that do it? I think we got him. Fantastic. That wasn't that bad. And that's the last element. Please give heart container. What if I go around the long way? No! I thought there was more there was like a tile there I could walk on. Okay, I'm just gonna gonna get out of here before I do something crazy. Sweet, so we can fix the uh fix the sword now. Well, too bad we already got it. No flying for you. Except you don't really fly, you just kind of glide. Wait, wasn't there like a shortcut or something up here? Maybe up the next floor? No? I think it was maybe down two floors then. which I mean down three floors. There it is. I think this takes us somewhere closer. Um, oh, we're all the way down here. I'm Good thing we have this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fix the sword, and if nothing else happens, then uh, that'll probably be where I call it for the day. Oh, I just had to accidentally hit that again. How do I cancel? Oh, okay. Obviously B. I knew that. Okay. back to the realm of the small. Uh, I can get past here. Just gonna, gonna sneak past you here. Did I go up here before? I did not go up here before. I 
think this is the right track. Don't mind me, just a small ant coming through. Actually, I, I think I need to be large for this. Right, I have to sneak past them. I wonder what's going to happen, if it's going to immediately, like, like, body is going to appear and it's going to trigger some sort of thing with him. Okay, how would I go about going through here? You left your post. Just imagine, if that guy didn't decide to walk around, it would be literally impossible for us to win. Oh? Wait. You're not supposed to be able to see other than blocks immediately in front of you. got contacts recently. How did you see me all the way over there? Hey. It's so selective, like how uh, how far they can see you. Maybe I just gotta go fast. Any minute now. I think maybe there's just like some invisible blocks where they like automatically detect you if you walk through there. Or maybe I need these two to like synchronize. Oh, I just go around. That works too. Back into the small realm.
pivotal moment in the game. We have the final element. Oh, it turns gold. And glowy. The power of the wind element has infused your blade. Has become the four sword. So is this reforming the four sword, or is this like the first time that the four sword exists? That's a new one. The way forward opens. Must lead to the room that holds the secret of the light force. We do must go in. That's awful grammar. But I think we're going to do that in the next stream, though. So, uh... Yeah, what is this? Friday? Saturday? Okay. I think we're going to wrap things up here. I don't know how much is left. This game. Probably going to wrap it up in the next one. But I'll be back Monday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll probably finish it then. I'm so excited to see what what's left, but I guess until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.